Okay guys, we've made more than 300 videos on our channel and reviewed dozens of wireless earbuds, but we have not been this excited about another pair of buds for a long time. The Tozo Golden X1, they do everything and they're just incredible. Goedendag, we're DHRME, dudes hoarding respectable merchandise epitomized. So these are everything buds. They check almost all the boxes you could ask for in terms of features. And one of those features is multipoint, staying connected to two devices at once. Now there is having multipoint and doing multipoint well. The Tozo X1 has a really good bug-free implementation of multipoint. While testing these on Windows and Android, a combination that always tends to be problematic, we could just resume audio on the second device without even bothering to pause the first one all while having LDAC on the Android phone. Easily some of the best multipoint we've seen. And to top off our enthusiasm, you can pull the connection from a previously paired device. No need to put the buds into pairing mode. Just select it from your Bluetooth settings and it'll disconnect from your oldest connection and connect to the new one. And yes, before you ask, you can have LDAC running on two devices simultaneously. Not if your devices are Apple's, but you knew that already. We're surprised with how well the multipoint worked. And the best part was that we had little to no connectivity hiccups in general. It does seem that quality control is fairly good. Things just work and there's no weird hacky things you have to do. Of course, we don't have that many samples to test, but maybe that quality certification issued by TUV Rheinland means something? Let's hope so. And from general quality to build quality, well, again, we really like it. Most of the marketing material you see will be around that retro digital LED display on the case. And it sounds like a gimmick, right? Well, you're wrong. You're awesome, but still wrong because this is not an obscure feature you will never use, but something you basically glance at every time you open the case. We're convinced that this will find its way in some form or the other into the Apple ecosystem four or five years from now when their whole spatial audio spiel runs out. And of course, JBL's Tour Pro 2 basically slaps an app onto the case. But for now, let's remember these humble beginnings and the fact that you don't need to be a color expert to read a single LED to guess what it means or be an arithmetic expert to count the LEDs and guesstimate how much battery you have left. You see exactly how much battery is remaining in your case down to the single percentage point. And the display, it actually has a nice little matte effect. A slight downside on the display is that you can't see it well in bright daylight. An e-paper display would be sick, but we're happy that this works and it works well. To complete the story about battery, Tozo says eight hours on a single charge, but that's not what we experienced. We turned on LDAC and ANC just to be sure, and we got around three to four hours with audio playing continuously at around 50% volume, of course with ANC on. So with the case, you could supposedly get up to 32 hours, but we'd wager that that number is gonna be much lower too. Guess that's the price of LDAC and fancy drivers. It's not spectacular and quite middle of the road. And there is wireless charging on board, if you're into that kind of thing. The weakest part of the case is a kind of flimsy lid hinge. It's not weighty like the Lipotec hinge, but more like the Sony hinges. <laughs> not a deal breaker, but we thought that we'd point that out. And what about the buds themselves? Well, they're quite well built. Plastic, but well built. But more importantly, these are touch control buds, which can be very hit and miss. Well, in this case, we thought this was another winner. The touch controls were responsive and everything except the left bud single tap can be customized. The right bud tap and all the double, triple and long presses can be customized too. One hitch we found was that the volume couldn't be changed without music playing, hopefully fixable via a software update. In terms of looks, we're less impressed. I mean, don't get us wrong, starting with the shape of the earbuds, these actually look kind of unique. Somewhere between a full long stem and a bud style design. And you know what? It's nice, kind of original. What we're not necessarily crazy about is that Tozo branding in the middle of the buds. It looks a bit meh, and we'd rather prefer a much more subtle logo or something like our Popsicle Icicle Tested merch, which you can buy, by the way. Support the channel and wear cool merch Win-win. Anyway, while the looks are not award-winning, we had mixed results on the fit. Kevin felt that they weren't secure enough for workouts and I thought that they were great for workouts because they do penetrate a bit deeper and as a result, they don't come out very easily. But Tozo makes it as accessible as possible by giving you multiple tip sizes in the box. These are silicone tips and we at DHRME like silicone tips. And these are oval-shaped, which means Good comfort, usually, the tips. 
Either way, if these stay in your ears, you can feel confident using them while working out with an IPX6 rating that's better than most for liquid resistance. No dust resistance here though, and no IP rating on the case either. The sound out of the box is very extreme. And while that usually applies to the bass, this applies to the treble in this case. This is probably Tozo's way of showing off how far these buds can go. And for someone who's not very much into earbuds, this might be fun. But Tozo does provide an excellent 10 band EQ in the box and man turning down that treble really works. There are also some really nice presets like the original preset. These are not the most accurate sounding buds we've ever tested. But sound wise to say I was blown away would be an understatement. Almost every genre I threw at it pretty much kicked butt. LDAC means it has excellent resolution and there are some very good EQ presets to choose from as well as full customization. And just as we were finishing this video, Tozo throws in another killer feature. Much like Soundcore, one more, and yeah, many others now. Tozo also brings its new ear print feature and does an absolutely smashing job at compensating for your inferior hearing. It thought my inferior hearing needed AI magic help and although not perfect, I thought this was pretty excellent. Best part is that it's very easy to turn this off and it's very easy to do the test, something we like. For sound, we think these might be one of our favorite buds so far. We tested the ANC and transparency of the Tozo X1 against the AirPods Pro Gen 1, the Earphone Air Pro 3 and the Soundcore Liberty 4. For transparency, the Tozo is pretty damn good. It did better than the Soundcore Liberty 4. We'd say it's in the same tier as the Earphone Air Pro 3. So that's like a tier A. It's able to pipe in sound across the board and we don't mind being outdoors and having a quick chat with someone in this mode. Now the AirPods Pro Gen 1 are still tier S and remain the reigning champ for transparency. Then what about active noise cancelling? Here, the Tozo did slightly worse than the AirPods Pro Gen 1, but not by much. We'd put them in the same tier, tier B. This is also where we have the Soundco Liberty 4. The one that beats them all though is the Earphone Air Pro 3, especially in the mids where the voices exist. They're really cancelled out the best using the earphone. All right, people, let's pop some popsicles, ice some icicles, and test some tests. So we're going to really maybe get it. The voice is coming from the two days and this one. And now we have the one more Evo. Now we have the Sony Link Purchase. And now we have the Sanko Liberty 4. Pop, 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 go. Ice, 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 go. Test, test, testing. One, two, three. Ice 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 ago. Test test testing. One, two, three. The Tozo X1 in windy conditions. The Sony Link Buds S in windy conditions. The one more Evo in slightly windy conditions. Sound call Liberty 4 in windy conditions. Pop that popsicle. Ice ice icicle. Test test testing. One, two, three. What did you guys think? In our opinion, the Tozo X1 didn't do all too great in the noisy cafe test and ranked the lowest. We couldn't hear Rowan's voice very clearly and it fell quite far away. The Soundcore Liberty 4 was slightly better, but the winners in our books were the One More Evo and the Sony Link Buds S. The voice was clear and loud with minimal background noise. Outdoors in the wind, we see something similar. The Tozo X1 is just not very loud, but it did cut out the wind quite well. The Soundcore Liberty 4 and One More Evo did very well too. The voice was louder, but you also heard the wind a bit more. Finally, the Sony Link Buds S was ultimately the ultimate winner. It cut out the wind and the voice was the loudest. Now these tests might have shown the Tozo as slightly inferior to the others. They are, in their own merit, a decent pair for all conditions. We wouldn't have issues using them. In addition, based on our real experience on phone calls as well as Teams video calls, the feedback has been excellent. No complaints from others. So take that for what it's worth. All right, fuck one time. The X1 gives you basic answer hang up call controls. Although they can do volume control, it unfortunately doesn't work when you're on calls. Sad. You also cannot mute the microphone from your buds. You'll need to use your phone. You'll also need your phone and this is a bummer to change ANC controls because there's no way to use the normal ANC transparency touch gestures while on a phone call. You can change those things in the app though. And speaking of ANC, we did feel a bit of occlusion when on phone calls. You know, the feeling of hearing your own voice through your skull. The ANC mode will affect the amount of occlusion though. Normal mode was the worst, transparency mode was slightly better, but surprisingly, the ANC mode relieved it the most. You still had occlusion, but bearable. 
there are a few features we would have liked Tozo to include in this new flagship of theirs. Again, these aren't exactly deal breakers, but still important to know before you pull the trigger. Like we said, the call controls are basic, and it's unfortunate you can't change any of the controls from the app. If Tozo wants to perfect their already great multipoint implementation, then they could add a device list in the app. And finally, there's no in-ear sensor, so you only get dumb pause. Your audio will continue playing anytime you take a butt out of your ear. So, to buy or not to buy? Well, these really are the everything buds. They totally nail the basics, including fit, comfort, you know, design, the IP rating, decent microphones, touch controls, and customization. They also go over and above. You get almost all the extras, wireless charging, LDAC, really good multipoint implementation, and a solid app. The X1 also has some zinging extras that put it ahead of the rest, a digital display and multiple tip sizes. Outstanding performance, great customizable sound, excellent transparency and decent ANC. These buds aren't perfect though. The case size is rounded and a bit thick, which makes it still pocketable, but less so than many other flatter cases out there. We still think that the stock tuning is a bit too much, but again, this is more subjective and you can pretty much achieve any sound you want with the killer app. Did we say these buds were everything buds? Well, scratch that, these are almost everything buds. There is no in-ear sensor to automatically play or pause your music. Well, we haven't heard of Tozo before this and this is a solid product, but at $150 they are going up against a much more established companies with a wider after sales services network and reputable brands. The battery isn't great on LDAC, something most LDAC buds seem to suffer from. That's it guys, that's the Tozo X1 review. A very, very, very solid set of earbuds from Tozo and color is impressed. Everything buds? Yeah, pretty much. But there are also so many buds we can think of, the JBL Live Pro 2, the Jabra Elite 5, the Soundcore Liberty 4, the One More Evo, the Sony Link Buds S. Well, you know what? Let's make a video on those. All the everything buds? Why not? Next week? Next week. You've been Golden. And we've been DHRME. Namaste. Namaste. service network and reputable reputable brands and reputable brands you know what let's make a video on those next week and we've been DHRME and we